So a reoccurring theme on this show is the national media jabroni haircuts not giving the Minnesota Fighting Vikings and their players and their subsidiaries the time of day, right? It's always like, oh, hey, the Vikings are down in the power rankings. Oh, the Vikings underachieve. Oh, Kirk Cousins poops the bed. Uh, blah, 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 blah. But with Justin freaking Jefferson, it's always been different because – if the national media poo pooed on Jefferson, you knew you would know that the fix is in. Well, the fix is in anyway, but they cannot deny Jefferson's greatness. Also, that should bolster up Jefferson's greatness even more because he's doing it with the Vikings. He's getting love from the national media and he's wearing purple. So that's so Jefferson is probably 150 percent uh, times greater than he actually is portrayed in the media. But our frenemies over a pro football focus, they finally get something right. Now, they don't get things right with Brian O'Neill. They don't get things right with some of the other players. But with Jefferson, they tend to get it right. And they did up a bunch of grading in terms of uh, against press coverage. And Justin Jefferson came out on top. That's right. Uh, 93.0 PFF grade against press coverage since 2020. Jefferson's first year in the league. Also, Jefferson basically didn't play the first two games of that year. So whatever so he is ahead of Devonta adams who is not as good as just jefferson adam Thielen. oh the, yeah the raiders wide receiver one. Oh, the guy who turned down more money to return to green bay and so then he took his talents to the raiders because he just wanted to get out of there <laughs> better than cooper cup at 90.8 better than aj brown better than stefan diggs you may remember him so justin jefferson sin at the top Uno, right? And here's the thing, because press coverage, you got these big physical corners getting all up in the shorts of the wide receivers. Like, mm -mm, we're going to lock you down. But Jefferson has so many moves off the line of scrimmage. He's got that stutter step. He's got that rocker step. He's able to get off the line of scrimmage cleanly and get into his route and win in that regard. Where... I mean, Jefferson, I, mean, I mean, Jefferson is not an overtly physical guy. Like, he's not uh, he's not DK Metcalf. He's not A.J. Brown out there. But the fact that he can just get so much space in, in a confined area, Duke could get open in a phone booth, right? So just speaks to the amazingness and crispness, uh, how clean of a route runner he is. And uh, he, here's the thing, too. It's like, what are you going to do? Like if you play off of him, he'll just burn you. And if you're uh, all up in his grill and press, he'll just go over. The, he'll get by you and go over the top. So it's really a damned if you do and damned if you don't situation for some of these cornerbacks. And then, I mean, well, if you press him and then he still gets open, you have to have a safety over the top. So that leaves uh, one less defender to cover the rest of the guys, uh, cover Adam Thielen. Oh, by the way, so PFF broke this down, uh, press coverage, also into touchdown rate, and Adam Thielen, ooh, number one. Numero uno there as well. And so it's beautiful. It's beautiful, man. He's finally getting some love. And then PFF had to go point out. I was like, hey, oh, the hit list. This is not a Jefferson has to face these cornerback ones. Oh, what what a tough schedule for the young superstar wide receiver. No, this is a hit list. This is uh, Billy Madison, Steve Buscemi, the list. People, we need to destroy. That's right. Jar Alexander coming out of the gate hot. I got all that money. He's going to be weighed down by all, all that dough in his pockets. That's why Jefferson is going to burn him. Darius, big play slay. Uh, he hasn't been big uh, play slay since Detroit, man. Although he has had some moments in Philly. But it's okay. Bring it on. Marshawn Lattimore, congratulations. Good job. Bring it. That's all. Xavier Howard also got paid uh, down in Miami. Hey, everyone's going to be focusing on Justin Jefferson, and he is still going to get his. Trey White, Week 10, respect. Uh, LSU versus LSU, let's get it on. Uh, Trevon Diggs, Week 11, not scared. <laughs> so they also did one of these where it highlighted all of Trevon Diggs' uh, wide receiver one matchups. Uh, that might be 1,700 yards. Where, I mean, Trevon Diggs, respect. He's a ball hawk. He rambles. He gambles. He goes for interceptions. But he gives up a lot of yards in coverage. I think that he was either first or second in the league last year in terms of yards given up, yards allowed. It's not good. Sauce Gardner, week 13. And now, Sauce, the cornerback from, one from Cincinnati, he may have settled in by week 13, but it's okay. We got the whew, thunder of J.J. And then Stephon Gilmore. Stephon Gilmore hasn't been good in three years, man. But, yeah, week 15, yeah, the, the Colts just have this gong show. I was like, Mama, I can change him. These old veteran cornerbacks, like, hey, Xavier Rhodes, you any good? No. Hey, Stephon Gilmore, you any good? No. Who, gonna, who are they going to bring in next? Josh Norman? Sure. You know, why not? But it's okay. Again, this is not a, a rundown of, oh, oh, what was us? Oh, Jefferson's going to struggle. Oh, fantasy football people. Hey, be wary of Jefferson in these matchups. No, again, this is a hit list. I mean, these games, these eight games – does Jefferson go over a thousand yards in these eight games? Yes. 
Yeah, does he have over eight touchdowns in these eight, eight games? Yes. And it's only going to be getting better because guess what? Justin Jefferson has the OC uh, that coordinated Cooper Cup's offense the last couple of years. So he's going get, to be getting that work. He's going to be getting all of the targets. He's going to be getting open in a, a bunch of different situations. And he already you can't cover him. You can't play off. You can't bump and run him. You can't press him. You can't do anything. That's right. That's why he is a true blue wide receiver one in the National Football League. There's no debate. There's none. Absolutely none. Hmm. Uh, but your thoughts on our thoughts. Jefferson is the best uh, wide receiver in the NFL versus press coverage, according to PFF. Let us know your thoughts on our thoughts and their thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.